Writing does not come naturally to me, as I'm certain you can imagine. Oh. Let me guess, you're composing a love poem. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. I, I couldn't, not even if my life depended on it. It's not that hard. Yes, it is. Poetry takes finesse, it takes grace. You don't think you have those things? Aw, she's so cute. <laughs> Historians will one day ask what happened at Adamant Fortress, in the Fade. I was there. I saw it with my own eyes. It must be recorded. That's an excellent idea, Cassandra. I certainly thought so, until I started writing. I still don't know what to say about the spirit of the Divine. I saw her there, heard her voice, yet I cannot claim with certainty it was really her. The Chantry teaches us that the souls of the dead pass through the Fade, so it could have been her, yet even so. Do you really think it might have been her? A ghost? A ghost? A remnant of her hopes and memories? Her lingering will to do good. Those things are all possible. Nobody knows for certain what happens after we die. A spirit could have assumed her form, but why? It helped you, as Justinia herself would have. Maybe it doesn't matter? No, we gotta say nice. Continue. Oh. I believe it was the Divine. She helped us one last time. I hope that's true. I want to believe it. She's very devout, so... When I realized we were physically in the Fade, I was terrified, almost beyond reason. The last time such a thing happened, we created Darkspawn. We created Corypheus. The world needs to know the truth this time. No more legends lost to the ages. You wanted to see me? I just wanted to show you being me being a badass. Sorry. Yeah, oh. what? I got it! It was the Sala Talvasoth. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, my soul's dust. Yours is scattered all over the ground, though, so. Ah. Sorry, boss. I thought I might need backup. And I have Guess no I'm not even worth sending professionals for. I mean, you could have told me. Yeah. <laughs> You knew the assassins were coming? Little change in the god rotation tipped me off. Yeah, he could have warned me! <laughs> Why didn't you tell me ahead of time? You go through years of Ben Hasrath training to hide facial expressions when I wasn't looking. See? Like that. If I'd warned you with the gods, the assassins would have been tipped off. Oh, okay. Are you alright? Fine. Hurt myself worse than this fooling around in bed. Oh. Uh, what if they used poison? Oh, they definitely used poison. Sarkamek, liquid form. If I hadn't been dosing myself with the antidote, I'd be going crazy and puking my guts up right now. As it is, it stings like shit. But that's about it. Should we retaliate? Are you interested in getting some payback? Against who? The entire Ben Hasrath? Besides, this wasn't serious. <laughs> oh, right. Sending two guys with blades against me? That's not a hit. That's a formality. <laughs> Just making it clear that I'm Talva Shoth. <sighs> Talva fucking Shoth. You're still you. You acted like a Talva Shoth for years. That didn't change you. Neither does this. That was just a roll. This is my life, as one of those. I've killed hundreds of Talvashoth in Saharan. Bandits, murderers, bastards who turned their back on the Kuhn. And now I'm one of them. No. I'm... You're not a Talvashoth. That's a Kunari word, and you don't follow the Kuhn any longer. You're Iron Bull, mercenary captain for the Inquisition. 
I can live with that. <sighs> anyway, I'll get this cleaned up and let Red know what happened. Boss, whatever I miss, whatever I regret, this is where I want to be. Whenever you need an ass kicked, the Iron Bull is with you. Yay! Yay! Loyalty achieved. I think this is like Mass Effect today. There you are. Special? Do you have Just want to get a kiss real quick. Do you? <laughs> I think we've done enough work for the day. Don't you? Jump in that. Uh, yeah, I do. Maybe you're right. You wanna go make out? Oh yeah, like kisses in, all the time. We're in middle school, let's go make out. Let's go to our make out spot. <laughs> That bitch one more. Check oh, on the booty. Yeah. Her eyes get kind of big at the end. She's like, oh yeah. That's gonna be mine soon. I'm tapping that ass. It's gonna happen. <laughs> I can fly. No. You Love can't. gives me wings. It doesn't, it stop, 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 you don't have wings, please stop. <laughs> we should go talk to Sarah. I'm about, yeah, this won't do it. God, Stacy, don't tell me how to do. Stop reading your mind. <gasps> Cutscene. <gasps> Heard what went on in that fade thing. What you think went on. Can't even start to believe that business. Difficult time for everyone. That's weird. Uh, yeah. I think a lot of people are having trouble with what went on there. People going on about visions and piss when real people are gone. Dead, probably. Stroud, yeah? Lost a serious moustache there. And in trade, a busted down bunch of wardens. And they're always weird. Usually, bad stuff happens first, so you're glad when the hero shows up. But wardens are the wrong way round. They're the good thing that means a bad thing is about to happen. Like in Denerith, when the blight ended. A lot happened in Denerim. What did you see? People talked a lot about this one warden. There was a big fight and they died, or I don't know, maybe they didn't. The hero of Ferelden. You forget the hero of Ferelden. That was ages ago. Ten years. I was playing with small painted boxes and burying stuff I stole. I remember more people cringing about magic than blight. Wardens were an excuse for your stuff to go missing. Blackwall's nice, though. Different from the adamant ones. Need more like him. You have a problem. That over there is a full tavern. But everyone's drinking alone. They're all up their own asses about the Inquisition. I can't have fun with everybody whinging. And they'll fall on their swords before Corifinus can push them. I'm thinking pranks. Set a few up, knock a few down. You in or not? I love how she calls Corifius Corifinus. Yeah. She doesn't care. She's like, fuck you. I'm not, I... I'm not even gonna pronounce your name correctly. Hey, Corif stupid head. <laughs> uh, uh, how will that help? I don't want to accidentally be an ass, because you know how sometimes they're like, I know, how but the like, hell? I like, want, fuck I, you. I, does I want them at their best? I mean... I don't understand how annoying my people will help. Uh, See? Damn it. Look, you have experts for everything. And I know a bunch of tight-ass people when I see them. Oh, sure, they'll complain. But they'll really mean, thank you for distracting me from the end of the stupid world. Come on. Yes, yes. yes. Let's do it. Lead the way. What, really? Really. <laughs> I knew you were different. Let's go. <laughs> Two little giggly elves. Hee <laughs> hee starting trouble. Right, General Uptight is gone. Have a search about. Find something to mess with and give your soldiers a laugh. <sighs> yes. Oh yes. Center of the Empire and all that. What to do? What to do? Great. So what do we do? What do we do? <laughs> yes. What do we do? I want to diminish my general. No, great. Whatever you do. Yeah. Maybe I'll kind of like calm down and give me some D. All right, Sarah. What do you want to do? Thing looks heavy. Don't want to move or break it. 
I got it. Easy one. Just a slip of something under here. There, won't notice much, but it's just that little bit wonky. He's so in control that'll piss him royally. I tell one of the soldiers and boom, the general seems like people. And since he works for you, you seem like people. Come on, next one. I love how now that we committed to Cullen, we're doing everybody's like little side things. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. little lady prissy pants. Have a look for something ah, she likes too much. Fancy pants. So you and Sarah are kind of on the same level, Stacy. Yep. How does that make you feel? Fancy pants, prissy pants. Exactly. Right, little lady prissy pants. Have a look for something she likes too much. What? Just the door, where she greets every important idiot. Yes. Good. Mark yeah. Mark, double bet. What do All we right, do? Then. Okay, Lil. Well, what are we gonna do? Well, Sarah, what do you have in mind? Um, <laughs> get a bucket. <laughs> oh boy. Two devious elf girls Classic, running around. Yeah? Five minutes of sloppy boss gets you weeks of happy kitchen staff. Except for the one who cleans it up, I suppose. But whatever. Next stop. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I'm this having is fun. The best. <laughs> oh, I hope we do everybody. Right, something to get our shadow of birds loosened up. Got to be something. Have a search. What's that? A locked? No, leave that. Not interested in her hidden things. Not for just a bit of fun. Maybe feed her messenger something gassy? No, birds don't pop. But they flap and... Uh... Hmm. Who is up there? Run, go! <laughs> <laughs> yes! That was fun. An inquisitor of the people, still remembering you're one of them. If all they got was the Herald stuff, the serious bit, you'd start to sound pretty scary. That works, but not for long. Whatever it takes. I'd start throwing pies if it kept people inspired. Pies is so good! And Carifinus would never do that. Good thing for you, innit? Because from the bottom, everyone up top sort of seems the same. It was fun chasing you, Inquisitor. Nice for you. You! Ulfric! Oh. <laughs> you did it! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. You're so bad! <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm crazy, bye! The <laughs> <laughs> crazy laugh runs away. I know. She's like, the Inquisitor did it! <laughs> oh my god. No. But you like demons! I enjoy the company of spirits, yes. Which is part of why I do not abuse them with bindings. It isn't abuse if I ask. Not always true. Also, I do not practice blood magic, which renders this entire conversation academic. You're such a nerd. He won't bind me. He's a mage and he likes demons, but he won't help. What? What's wrong? Why would you want Solus to bind you? So I'm safe. If Solus won't do the ritual to bind me, someone else could. Will. Like the Warden Mages. And then... I'm not me anymore. Walls around what I want. Blocking, bleeding, making me a monster. A mage using blood magic could conceivably do that to any one of us. Human or demon. You should ask Solus to bind you too. And then someone can bind him. Wait, what? Uh, I think he's just really freaked out right now. Uh, we'll protect you, I guess. We'll find a way to keep you safe without binding you, Cole. I have a suggestion, if Cole is ready to listen. I recall stories of amulets used by Ravani seers to protect spirits they summon from rival mages. A spirit, wearing an amulet of the Unbound, was immune to blood magic and binding. It should protect Cole as well. 
The resources of the Inquisition could be used to find such a talisman. Good. They will not take me. That was kind of an interesting conversation, because it's like Solas, who's like all up in his brain bullshit with these like spirits and demons, and Cole, the actual spirit, who's being like, dude, fuck off. I need your help. Yeah. Bind me to your will. And like Solas Anders. is like, I'm going to go read a book. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is that Anders did the same thing, and then Anders like went crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, the man in my head says, I hate you. And you're like, okay, well, bye. He's the one that was blowing up shit, right? He blew up the, the yeah. chantry. And I didn't have a choice. And you're like, uh, okay. I think he did, dude. Uh-oh. Our mounts have never had better. Someone I knew once described adamant to me. Adamant is, and always will be, the Order, he said. A guardian on the edge of the Abyss. The lone soul that stares into oblivion and doesn't waver. That's what Warden Commander Clorel tried to be. Well, they all tried to be. I'm told her Wardens never wavered. They went to their deaths, willingly. They died for... us. And Corypheus twisted their sacrifice to make it his own. I know. Horrible. We stopped him. We saved most of the Wardens. But not all of them. And they died thinking they were doing something good. There's no one to blame but Corypheus. Even Clorel's intentions were righteous. Her desire to protect was so great it led her astray. It's not right. To want to do good, to be good, and have that turned against you. Don't think of what went wrong. Think of their intentions, their sacrifice. Honor their selflessness. Clorel made mistakes, but she was a great woman. And she died a great woman. It's not the armor or the trappings of the Order. It's not the... joining. At the heart of it, all a Warden is, is a promise. To protect others, even at the cost of your own life. Where'd you go? Hey. Hey. This. This is just. It's something to keep their hands busy. All right, sure. Oh, you man. you tracked me down when you did. As exciting as wandering the woodlands was, this is better. It's good to be part of something so important. Something that could change things. Me and Mr. Hand. It's We're just so happy way. now. Me and Mrs. Hand. Mrs. Hand. She Sorry. wanted to have a baby, so I go to this rocking chair. <laughs> I hope there's more than just the work keeping you here. Well, there's you, of course. The Inquisition is nothing without its herald. You are who you choose to follow. Someone told me that once. Took me years to understand what he meant. There's wisdom in that. It was a Chevalier who said those words to me. A powerful man, but never without honor. A true knight. We met as competitors in the Grand Tourney. He left me with that advice before we parted. Put aside his own ambitions to help me win the melee. I don't think I even thanked him. I don't feel bad about flirting with other people, Cullen. Because you haven't put out yet. Uh, <laughs> no, we not should not feel real. bad because this is a video game. <laughs> okay, yeah. But in real life, until you put out, all things are on the table. <laughs> that's what I have to say. <laughs> that's not real. That's not real. That's not real. Nobody take that advice. <laughs> that's horrible. What is this Grand Tourney? You've never heard of it. The Grand Tourney of the Free Marches. It's a spectacle. Song, dance, wine, every amusement you can imagine. <laughs> but the greatest part is the contest of arms. Prove yourself in the Grand Tourney, and you can make your fortune. What happened? How did he help you? There were a hundred men on the field, each one fighting for himself. The knight and I had forged an alliance. It was just the two of us, and we took all comers. The goal? Down as many opponents as possible. He always let me deliver the final blow. 
That was generous of him. He said I stood to gain everything, while he'd lose nothing. When it was over, he offered to mentor me, to teach me to become a chevalier like him. And I, young and stupid, turned him down flat. I just won the melee at the Grand Tourney. I didn't need him. Well, yeah, uh, with his help, dude. So young and him. stupid. Perhaps things could have been different. Uh, eh, it all turned out. You're here now, a Grey Warden. It worked out. I suppose it did, didn't it? But I'm older, hopefully wiser. And I think I've chosen the right person to walk with. I'm here. We'll come back to that, yeah. Nothing right now. Perhaps in a bit. So why, FYI everyone, we're not skipping dialogue. It's just hard to sit through those really, really, really long conversations yeah, all in a row. Yeah, to sit through like all the 15 minute conversations. Yeah. At once. It's we got to we got to have to split it up. It's just sometimes we got to we got to run much. around and jump off the battlements a little bit <laughs> yeah. just to blow off some steam. There was once a young noble in Fair Arlathan, and it happened that the elven king lost one of his two daughters to a serpent's bite. At the ceremony to commemorate her life, the young noble saw an elven lady so fair and perfect that his heart broke. But by the laws of ancient Arlathan, he was forbidden to speak with her during the ceremony, and he did not learn who she was, so he could not ask her family to court her. The young noble prayed to the gods that he might meet the elven lady again. He prayed to Mythal for love, and Durthamin for the secret of the elven lady's name, and to Andrul for the luck of the hunt for this woman. And finally, he made an offering to Fen Harrel, and the Dreadwolf was the only one who answered. In a dream that night, he told the noble what he needed to do to see his heart's love again. Do you know what he said? Kill the king's other daughter.